And yes, you put this one within the coverage of an existing Wi-Fi network, and it will extend the range of that network further. It's really tricky to find the right spot to put a Wi-Fi RAID extender because if you put it too close to the existing router, well, it's useless because the range remains the same. Too far, though, the signal is too weak for it to extend. Now, things better with this one here because it comes with this light right here that shows if you actually put it too far from the existing router. Show how, you might ask. Well, I have to go and put it into a wall socket before I can show you how it is. So I'll be right back. Just kidding, you bring the camera with me. Here we go, let me plug it in right here. And you can see the light changing. As you can see here, the green here means we are in a good spot. If the light is red, when you put it too far away from the router, and if there's no light, well, we're completely out of range. The point is that you still need to be lucky to use this one effectively. What's the chance of having a wall socket exactly at the sweet spot? And one more thing though, this one here takes quite a long time to boot up, so you have to be quite patient when testing it around the house. Oh, even one more thing. This one here is actually basically a huge power adapter, so when you plug it in, be prepared to lose at least one adjacent wall socket. Now the EX6100 here is a true dual band AC750 Wi-Fi device. That sounds all good, but there's a few things you should know about it. Number one, you can extend only one existing Wi-Fi network at a time. For example, if you have a true dual band Wi-Fi router at home, it only works with either the 2.5 GHz frequency band network or the 5 GHz band network. After that, it will rebroadcast signal in two separate bands of its own. In other words, this one here extends a single Wi-Fi network into two extension Wi-Fi networks. Second, why support the latest 802.11 AC Wi-Fi standard? It only supports the single stream setup, and that means its top speed is only 433 megabit per second. Not that fast. Now, if all of those are complicated, just remember one thing. This device here is a lot less cool than what you can see on its packaging. By the setup process a little bit convoluted, but still quite easy thanks to this very clear instruction booklet. Now, this one here can also work as a Wi-Fi access point and come with a 1 gigabit network port right here to connect it to an existing router using a cable. When working as an extender, the port can also be used to connect a white device, such as a game console, to a Wi-Fi network. Now, in my testing, the EX6100 here indeed extends the range quite significantly, but the speed of the extension network is much slower with much higher latency or delay compared to the existing Wi-Fi network. And that means it's only good for casual internet surfing and not for online gaming or media streaming. That said, if you just want to share the internet for Facebooking, emailing, or want to see full bars on your Wi-Fi clients all the time, this is a good device to have. For most serious networking, however, it's not really worth the $90 price tag, especially considering the fact that it runs quite hard in my testing. I'm gonna get a man out of my car. I'm gonna get a man out of my car.